عم بيوجعني راسي رح روح على البيت وارتاح شوي Let's break it down عم بيوجعني عم بيوجعني راسي راسي عم بيوجعني بيوجع is it hurts بيوجعني is it hurts me عم بيوجعني it is hurting me so the عم before the verb makes it in the present continuous something that is happening now عم بيوجعني راسي راس means head راسي my head so عم بيوجعني راسي my head is hurting me which means my head hurts or I have a headache رح روح على البيت وارتاح شوي رح روح رح روح روح means I go رح روح makes it in the future I will go because رح means will رح روح على البيت I will go home If we break على البيت down it means على on ال the and بيت house على بيت literally on the house which means to the house so when I say رح روح على البيت I'm actually saying I will go to the house which means I will go home رح روح على البيت وارتاح شوي وارتاح ارتاح means I relax وارتاح and I relax so رح روح على البيت وارتاح means I will go home and relax you notice here I didn't say رح روح على البيت ورح ارتاح It's possible to say, but no need, because I already have a rah before the verb ruh. In English, we say the same. We say, I will go home and relax, rather than I will go home and I will relax. The same applies to Arabic. So, rah ruh al bayt wa irtah shway. Shway means a little. Let's repeat the whole sentence. Am biyujani rasi. رح روح على البيت وارتاح شوي